This week marked the return of First Division football in Costa Rica after the country suspended matches on March 17th. It may not be a return to the packed stadiums of the past, but the sport is back, at least on screen. The first matches are being held in empty stadiums, but an easing of restrictions given the relatively low coronavirus contagion rate in the country means people can watch from other public spaces. People come to restaurants to share and celebrate, the same as in the stadium. Reopening the football tournament means a light at the end of the tunnel, a light that gives us hope. Players have been able to resume regular training and complete the remaining seven rounds of the regular season, albeit under strict new rules, though many footballers just seem glad to be back on the pitch. We were training before, but it was without contact, and it wasn't the same. Today we were feeling like the first day of school, coming again to training, having contact, having some time on the pitch. These things we used to do. Thank God we are back. It will still be some time before fans can return to watch live games, and authorities say that while the coronavirus remains a threat, extreme sanitation measures will remain in place. We've had to draft a manual for procedures to meet the sanitary guidelines set by the health ministry. This includes disinfecting stadiums where games are played, the need for spectators to wear masks, and social distancing inside the stadium. Football is considered Costa Rica's national pastime, and the government's decision to reopen the regular season has been widely applauded. Thousands of families make a living directly or indirectly from football. And in Costa Rica, football is a feeling, a passion. It's a joy that the country has been without for two months, and we as a federation are obliged to try to stabilize its economy. Costa Rica was the first country in Central America to report the arrival of COVID-19. But widespread adherence by the general public to containment rules and guidelines appear to have paid off. Manuel Rapalo, Al Jazeera.